I want to be a stunt person now. That's what mm-hmm. I want to do. I'm going to quit the show and I'm going to become a stunt person. And that's an AV Club scoop. That's the scoop. She says jokingly. <laughs> The Good Place, the podcast, came about when executive producer Morgan Sackett called me one evening and said, uh, NBC Universal would like us to do a podcast about The Good Place. Uh, we don't want to. You, <laughs> you do it. Um, and uh, they paired me with a great producer, Grant Rutter. I came to the table with uh, a few things that I wanted to do as well, a few segments, the way that I wanted the show to be structured. Uh, things like uh, replacing swear words with uh, the swear word replacements from the show. I mean, I find myself wanting to say to them, Thank you for writing the line, I'm a naughty bitch. Thank you for li- <laughs> writing the line, uh, I took the form of a 45-year-old white man for a reason I can only fail up. Um, and also simultaneously, almost like a like a like uh, an older sibling, like looking at that room, knowing that they can see straight through my bullshit. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like uh, the segment at the end, what's good, just to leave the listener with a little bit of positivity. Jamila, Jamila, what's good? Uh, season three of The Good Place, Ooh. the whole thing. The yeah. whole thing is good. I'm and excited. I Are you excited? No, I'm genuinely, I cannot wait. This is my favorite season. This is where the writers know us the best. We know the writers the best. We know each other the best. This just felt, it felt honestly, I don't, I don't even feel afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to say it. Uh, a call to go and do some good in the world uh, by ending with the words, go do something good. Thank you for listening. Now go do something good. Um, But yeah, we, I mean, it really did come out of the gate pretty well formed in the early things. The one thing that did change, I pitched fake ads uh, in the first season, which we didn't get to in the second season, until the second season. Uh, The fake ads got way gooder than I ever anticipated. (laughs) I was just saying that maybe we'd throw in a one-liner in between that would say like, this portion, of the pro- this portion of the program is brought to you by Shrampies. Hold on there, Ace. Let me get some of them Shrampies. Uh, just like almost like a Major League Baseball radio broadcast kind of thing. Um, but instead, the writers got at it and wrote hilarious big fake ads. And the, you know, the core cast of the show has been, uh, has been recording those. And now a word from our sponsors. Swanson Safe Company. Making high-quality safes for your valued goods since 1838. Due to a recent legal entanglement that is frankly absurd, we are now required to say the following. Do not lock yourself inside a Swanson safe under any circumstances. You know, it's funny, um, as a cast member, as a guest cast member of The Good Place, um, I'm uniquely suited to host this podcast because I have just enough inside knowledge and behind the scenes knowledge to know, you know, interesting things to ask that a listener might want. Darcy, talk about it. You had fight rehearsals. You had a stunt double. You, you learned. Did you? Were you aware prior that you're an action hero? Uh, only in my dreams. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, Early on in the season, I, before we started shooting, Mike sure mentioned um, that there was going to be this big brawl, and he said, "Have you seen John Wick?" And I said, "No." And then I went home and watched the first and second one that night. And he was like, "Janet's going to do some like major." hand-to-hand combat which i was like i don't even understand like how we're gonna get there i didn't i couldn't quite like picture it until obviously i read all the the episodes and i just loved it so much i mean i loved it so much i it was you know a lot of um hours of practice and i was always like let's do it again 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 and um jeff amata who's the fight choreographer was just like very patient with me and awesome and i'm like i, I want to be a stunt person now that's what mm-hmm. i want to do i'm going to quit the show and i'm going to become a stunt person and that's an av club scoop that's the scoop she says jokingly <laughs> i think what's good about the good place the podcast is that listeners have been let behind the curtain uh, more so than other behind the scenes things to learn about the de- various departments of a television mm-hmm. show not just the writer's room and the cast, you know, not just the sort of flashy famous bits, but um, the art department and the scoring, the music, the editing, um, props, where these things come from, or the graphics, all these things. We've talked to the director of photography, you know. Um, it's, been a, it's been a bit of a boot camp and uh, Wikipedia level grad school in how to make a television show. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's been that on the best show that's ever been made. <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. I wasn't asking. (laughs) That was a statement.